Aloha. How are you today? Skyra here in Hilo, Hawaii. We get a lot of rain here, so if it decides to start raining, I'm going to pick up this video because I'm going to be just talking and channeling directly. Um, and we're going to go to the shelter to the right of me because <laughs> I'm not, I don't want to record this again. Um, today I want to talk about two specific laws that I am seeing manifest in this world a lot the law of polarity and the law of duality. The law of polarity states that there is an opposite for everything in this world. Everything that is, every thought, every, every label, every, every belief, there is an opposite, which is to create ultimately balance. And that's my friends is what we are here on this earth doing right now is creating to get out of the duality of polarity to believe that my thought is right, they're wrong. Um, everything that I think and my ego is the way it is, that my truth is the only truth. And I'm watching this manifest every day on social media. Those who, yes, and then those who are waking up, those who are in the awakening process um, are showing signs of extreme polarity and duality. And I wanna talk about three ways that it manifests. And this usually happens in uh, the beginning stages of the awakening and it's there's nothing wrong with it it's just that we only understand to the level of our consciousness and awareness and as a spiritual guide and an awakened woman uh, who has been on the path of healing and awakening for nearly 15 years um, I have embodied the understanding of duality and polarity and how it manifests in our life and how it creates suffering and how it creates separation in this world. Part of my, my process when I am guiding and coaching individuals or groups is to, so that we understand these polarities it's one of the biggest ways to break free from our programs and our negativity and our limited belief systems where we can see the equal and opposite of anything that we're experiencing to see how it's not all good or bad because that is generally what comes from people who are depressed, people who are experiencing addictions depression it is we can only see in the opposite or in the extremes um, and I know because I was there for the longest time most of my life <laughs> so, um, and once we go into we start seeing through the illusions and the programs and we're, we're you know we're on the awakening soul awakening process and spiritual awakening whatever you choose to call it um, I wanted to speak about three ways that it manifests and these are false light programs that are still running. So I'm gonna bring this to your awareness today. If you are hearing this or resonate with this, I would love you to comment. Uh, let me know how you've experienced this in your own life or if this video is absolutely any way helped you to understand further into um, more awareness and consciousness of how this, these things in your own life are manifesting. So um, the first thing I see, a lot of us who are on the awakening process, we end up going into, um, we change, we, we start taking care of ourselves, you know, in a different way. Um, we might go into a, what's vote, a, you know, a, a vegan diet, um, into changing the way that we eat, 
um, that's one of the biggest ones. I'm going to use the biggest example that I can think of. And this is called labels, where we label ourselves one way or another. Um, where we place labels on things that differentiate us from other people, from the collective, because it gives us something that feels superior. Yep, I said it. Labels like vegan. Um, that's the biggest one I'm going to use <laughs> because I did it. I didn't understand that that's not the end all, be all. It is not the truth for everybody. It is the way to higher consciousness. I will say that. It is the way to, to clear the body of energetic blocks and programming. And it is absolutely necessary, I believe, um, to start changing your diet, getting rid of processed foods, getting rid of uh, things that energetically, sugar, um, alcohol, things that you put in your body that are bringing your life force energy down. Uh, but to put a label on yourself, such as vegan, is a way to create superiority. It is a way to um, say that your, your belief system is better than the others. It is a way to differentiate yourself, which is fine. There's absolutely nothing wrong with it. I'm going to say this. There's nothing wrong um, because it is just a step in the awareness program and the, prog and it is a, and, and the awareness and consciousness to fully express and embody our soul and our uniqueness. Another way that I see is, again, another, another belief that we are superior is those who are still running the fear program, the deep fear program. They are walking around wearing masks. They believe the patriarch system of fear where we have to be suppressed, that we have to, we cannot breathe our own oxygen, that we are not our own healers and that we must rely on the pharmaceutical industry to heal us. One of the biggest fear programs out there right now. However, and I am guilty because I was one of the biggest outspoken people against mass. I would, I refused ever because for myself, it felt, I could feel the suppression. I could feel the oppression. I could, I know that oxygen is life. It is our life force energy. It is the God, the breath of God, the breath, breath of life. And it's when they put it, you wear a mask, it is, is a sign of enslavement and slavery. And I refused because I am so, against oppression and suppression of my own self. I understand holistic health and wellness and I understand and I have lived it and I understand that we are our own healers and that there is no amount of medication and there is no mask that is going to keep people from being sick. It is simply a program that's running right now in society and in, in this matrix However, not everybody understands that. However, there's a lot of people out there who are not in that conscious awareness. They are still running programs of fear. They're still watching TV. They're still believing what the TV is telling them, that the CDC knows better They fully believe in only the science. 
without the spiritual aspects. But the science does not take into account the spiritual aspects and it doesn't take into account that not everything is just science. Um, so ways that that would manifest is I see on social media those who are awakened talking about sheep, talking about how they are living in fear and they are just always going to be that way and they're never going to awaken. Well, I have to ask you, when did you awaken? Did you come out of the womb, awoke to everything that you know today? Do you know that it's completely possible for someone to wake up tomorrow and all of a sudden just have an awakening? That they see, wait a minute, something's wrong. And we have to hold space for those, those people. And by projecting your own beliefs and projecting your own judgments is in no way helping the awakening of humanity. It is, though, it is showing us where we must find compassion because ultimately the awakening process is to understand the duality and to break free from our ego programs that are telling us that we are superior and that we know better than everybody else because we really don't know anything. We really don't. We only know what's best for our own soul and and what we are here to embody for ourselves. Um, yes, we all know that there you've seen through you've seen through it but we have to understand and have compassion for those who are not yet on that process the awakening and the whole what we just experienced as a collective over the last two years has been probably one of the most it was the biggest thing that has caused the collective awakening because we got to experience such duality in the belief systems and um you know, it, it, it triggered the hell out of us <laughs> and it's still doing it. And when we can get beyond the triggers and we understand boundaries and triggers and how to come back into balance, um, to regulate our nervous system, to not get triggered from what people believe and what they say, that's part of coming into inner mastery. By the way, that is what I am here to do with uh, my own coaching and guidance programs. I help people break free from these programs, break free from the illusions, break free from polarity and duality um, so that you can come into balance. And this is just one, I'm just using this one because there's, there's, these things are all over the place. The duality and polarity is present in all the systems you know just like in the medical system it's not all good or bad um, if people can learn how to that we are our own healers and that we have the ability to control our immune system that we realize that we don't have to go to a doctor to get medication to heal us and cover up our symptoms uh, that we, we lose we can lose the suppression um, which I'll, that'll be another video of suppression and that but but however the medical system and the pharmaceutical industry also has another aspect of where if I go out and I break a bone or if I get an infection that I absolutely can't change because some of some of the infections are extremely um, powerful that there are times that we might have to take an antibiotic there are times that we might have to to have a surgery there are times that we might have to go have a, bro a bone fixed um, but in the most part, we can embody sovereignty and have the decision that that decision is within us that we don't have to put our, our power, we don't have to give our power away to a system outside of us to fix us. That we, and for the most part, we have the ability to do that for ourselves. So the labels 
and the belief that we are superior are two false light programs because we think that we have arrived, we are on the path to awakening and that we have not yet fully embodied polarity and duality. The third way, or the third thing I want to, to bring up is how this is suppressing our own darkness, our own shadow. This is where shadow work comes in, where it's like, oh, wow, you know, it may be where in me am I creating suffering in the world? Where am I creating my own suffering? What beliefs do I not want to see about myself? What things am I projecting out onto others that's still present within myself, even though we might not want to see it? It's not easy to look within, to see where we are contributing to false light programs. It's actually quite painful, but dear souls, this is the way, this is the path to awakening, to fully embody your inner, inner feminine and masculine energies, your polarities, your duality, to, to master the inner mastery. where we can actually see within ourselves how we are creating because we're being called to come back to balance, to completion, to master our inner emotions, our inner polarities, the duality. And that requires moving from a place of fear because it's still fear when you're still labeling yourself and you're still believing you're superior it there is a component of fear in that where you're separating yourself any kind of separation is fear when we can understand that we have to embody compassion and love and acceptance for others and for ourself is where the beginnings of self-mastery begin. I invite you today to comment on any of this that resonates with you, where you might be experiencing this in your own life and look deeply. If you are looking for support or guidance on self-mastery, if you know you're here in this world, you have a drive inside, you know that you are here to help awaken humanity. And you might have been sharing this information, people wanting them to understand that they can heal themselves, that they don't have to wear a mask, that they don't have to go to the pharmaceutical industry, they don't have to uh, suffer. But you're pushing those programs of the false light this is where I can come in to help you get moved past that to see it's called shadow work the work of the darkness inside ourselves if you're ready to do that work contact me I have all the links to that to those uh, different ways that you can contact me and I will be announcing some amazing programs and offerings I don't hate the word programs <laughs> <laughs> offerings um, and teachings that I'm going to be uh, bringing up soon. In the meantime, if you would like support in any way, I do uh, help people one-on-one. -on -one. Um, and yeah, you can be, be wonderful if you would help this channel grow and you would subscribe or like this video if it resonated with you or brought up anything in you that might have triggered you because I can tell you that it probably triggered people and that's okay. Thank you for staying around and listening to me. 
Um, I hope you have a beautiful day and remember that we are all here on the journey of awakening. We are all on different levels of awakening and nobody is right or wrong. Nobody, and the one, the one other thing that I wanted to bring up is those people that are here who have not awoken yet, who are still living in the program of fear, are helping you wake up still. If they're triggering you, if you're getting angry, if you're getting frustrated, if you are getting uh, defensive, they're, they're triggering you in any way, it's time to look within to see where you can shift your own beliefs to help you raise your own awareness and consciousness. Have a beautiful day. Aloha.